Hi guys, welcome to a new video. In this video I will show you how to use the Samsung Health app with your Samsung Galaxy Watch Active 2. So I will go over to a few things. To start off, I will go over to the steps. The step count is one of the main things why people buy a watch. Because your phone tracks it, but a watch does it a little bit more accurate. And as you can see, like on this thing over here, I'm gonna focus, I got like 400 steps in right now so today is a rest day I don't have any fitness data or any other data for you guys but I will show anyways how it works so once you go over to steps you can see the way it's set up you can use your mobile phone or you can use all steps which means a Galaxy Watch Active 2 and its phone so it combines the two to get the most accurate data uh, to show you and what this app does what the watch does is it automatically tracks all the data for you like your phone tracks data but uh, most of the times you have to input your data like working out for example but your watch can automatically track everything so as you can see I get these detailed graphs of like how many calories I've burned and how what distance I've walked so which features I use most is like activity time this one shows you how active you have been over the course of a few weeks so let me show you my activity from a few days ago um, so it shows me automatically that I've walked 35 minutes and I've worked out for 93 minutes this workout I've, I've turned it on on my watch like I will show you right now I have a widget set up you can you can add a widget by holding the, the, the watch then scrolling down to the last page and add a widget but I, also, I already got the widget so I will show you how it works. So I got this workout uh, widget, which I press workout. And whenever I go uh, do fitness, I press circuit training. And that one starts it for me. So now it will calculate how many calories I've burned and what my heart rate is over the time. So I'm going to finish this right now because I'm not working out. So this gives you a detailed data points um, where you can see how active you've been during the day and how many calories you have burned. Um, so normally you will have to do this through your phone at exercise and you have to pick an exercise and start it like this. But your watch, you can do it easily during your workout while you're at the gym. So that's way easier to use. So in your... And you basically want to use your phone to get more information about all the data your watch has tracked. So the watch is just to get more data of your workouts and it tracks your heartbeat and your calories burned and all those kind of things. But you use your phone to see uh, all the data of all your recent workouts. So for me it also automatically tracks uh, my bike rides. So whenever I bike or cycle to the gym it shows me that it, it took me 10 minutes 30, 38 seconds and then it shows me my workout and it shows me my, my ride back home it also goes into detail how many calories you have, you have burned what your heart rate was and all and gives you more information about your heart rate okay moving on to the next subject sleep tracking I haven't tracked my sleep last night so I will show you my sleep tracking from a few days ago when you go sleep tracking you just simply press you swipe down and you click on good night mode good night mode means that you won't be disrupted by any notifications or anything at all and um, your watch will just go black and you won't be able to turn it on or anything until you press a button so when you wake up, you turn it off and then it will give you data from your sleep. Um, here it also goes into detail what your sleep cycle look like and if you were into uh, REM, light or deep sleep. So that's a handy feature that comes with the watch. Um, like you can see normally if you don't have a watch, your sleep tracking will look like this. It will show you whenever you uh, uh, didn't touch your phone and whenever you touch your, sh your phone when you woke up and then you have to rate your sleep 
and that's not a good way to track your sleep so the watch actually gives you way more accurate um, data from your sleep another thing that's good to look at is your heart rate um, I remember on my old phone the Galaxy uh, Samsung Galaxy uh, S8 it had a, a on the back it had a heartbeat uh, tracker or a heartbeat sensor but the new phones don't have those anymore and my watch has one here on the back you can see the, gri the green lights going there I have this set up in a way where it shows uh, where it is constantly tracking my heartbeat I'll show you how to set it up that way yeah, like you can see right now it's constantly checking my heartbeat so if you want it the same way you go to heartbeat you scroll down go to settings and click on measure measure continuously and now it's showing your heartbeat continuously this way it will give you like a detailed graph and a continuous chart of your heartbeat it can look like this for example I was working out over here and it also tells you um, what you are doing so my heartbeat spiked over here and shows me that I was working out at that time also what this app does to you and your watch is it gives you a weekly summary of your week so for example if I go into last week it shows me how active I've been and how many steps I've set and it um, compares it to other groups of men using the Samsung Health app it also shows me all the data you've given to it it will give it the summary so some of the data I haven't uh, put in here so for example calorie uh, intake but for example I have done my um, activity setup and I didn't track my sleep last week so you don't have any data on that but this is how you use your Samsung Health app with your Samsung Galaxy Watch Active 2 and I hope that I can help I helped you out. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching.